one is not born but rather becomes a woman in order for the artist to have a world to express he must first be situated in this world oppressed or oppressing resigned or rebellious a man among men when she does not find love she may find poetry all oppression creates a state of war the body is not a thing it is a situation it is our grasp on the world and our sketch of our project representation of the world like the world itself is the work of men they describe it from their own point of view which they confuse with absolute truth few tasks are more like the torture of sisyphus than housework with its endless repetition the clean becomes soiled the soiled is made clean over and over day after day if the feminine issue is so absurd is because the male's arrogance made it a discussion to separate beings in different circumstances face to face in freedom and seeking justification of their existence through one another will always live an adventure full of risk and promise capabilities are clearly manifested only when they have been realized to be feminine is to show oneself as weak futile passive and docile to catch a husband is an art to hold him is a job what would prince charming have for occupation if he had not to awaken the sleeping beauty art literature and philosophy are attempts to found the world anew on a human freedom counseling man to treat her as a slave while persuading her that she is a queen it is perfectly natural for the future woman to feel indignant at the limitations posed upon her by her sex and without a doubt it is more comfortable to endure blind bondage than to work for one's liberation the dead too are better suited to the earth than the living one is not born a genius one becomes a genius and the feminine situation has up to the present rendered this becoming practically impossible self knowledge is no guarantee of happiness but it is on the side of happiness and can supply the courage to fight for it woman is shut up in a kitchen or in a boudoir and astonishment is expressed that her horizon is limited the body is the instrument of our hold on the world but women do not say we except at some congress of feminists or similar formal demonstration men say women and women use the same word in referring to themselves the curse which lies upon marriage is that too often the individuals are joined in their weakness rather than in their strength each asking from the other instead of finding pleasure in giving in any case the more traits and proportions of a woman seem contrived the more she delighted the heart of man because she seemed to escape the metamorphosis of natural things a man never begins by presenting himself as an individual of a certain sex it goes without saying that he is a man weakness is weakness only in light of the aims man sets for himself the instruments at his disposal and the laws he imposes that the child is the supreme aim of woman is a statement having precisely the value of an advertising slogan it is not in giving life but in risking life that man is raised above the animal that is why superiority has been accorded in humanity not to the sex that brings forth but to that which kills the category of other is as original as consciousness itself the duality between self and other can be found in the most primitive societies in the most ancient mythologies the division did not always fall into the category of the division of the sexes if i want to define myself i first have to say i am a woman all other assertions will arise from this basic truth legislators priests philosophers writers and scientists have striven to show that the subordinate position of woman is built in heaven and advantageous on earth one of the benefits that oppression secures for the oppressor is that the humblest among them feels superior the truth is that just as biologically males and females are never victims of one another but both victims of the species so man and wife together undergo the oppression of an institution they did not create